Hi there, I'm Mike Boyd with Advanced in Clinical Education. Today I'm going to answer a question I get oftentimes is, why doesn't stretching work for everybody? Well, let me pick up a marker here, the marker with the shirt, and we're going to draw this out. And we're going to say, okay, we have a person with a mobility restriction. Now, here's the key thing in your assessment is why is there a mobility restriction? Oftentimes people take mobility restrictions and say, okay, we know that this joint doesn't move, we're just gonna stretch the heck out of the joint. But the fact is, the mobility restriction could be due to one of two things, or maybe a combination of both. There is a possibility, over here, we could have a problem within the joint itself, and I'll call this a capsular problem. And so, in this situation, if it's capsular, we need to work on joint play or do our accessory movement testing. Many of you might know this is mobilizations or manipulations. On the other hand, we could have a problem over here where it is, I'll call this extra capsular. And with extra capsular, we're basically talking with soft tissue. So on this side, capsular, using an acronym, another nice way to abbreviate, abbreviate this is J M. D. This is a joint mobility dysfunction, and with a joint mobility dysfunction, we need to use our manual skills to solve the problem over here. As I said, mobilizations and the like. This side can be due to a number of things, but all of them are outside the joint. We're going to call this animal over here a TED, tissue extensibility dysfunction. Now, we can use instrumented soft tissue mobilization techniques and the tools are like, or it could be angular stretching or flexibility exercises. All of this here works on soft, we'll call it tissue stretching. Now, it's highly likely that a person could have both of these in play, but if that was the case, we always begin with our capsular problem first, restore normal accessory movement, reassess with our assessment technique, and if we then have a TED, or tissue extensibility dysfunction, we work on soft tissue stretching and then go back to our reevaluation. So I hope you enjoyed today's short tutorial on how I differentiate a capsular or a JMD problem versus a TED, a tissue, extensi tissue extensibility uh, dysfunction, and hope you join us again in our next episode. Thank you.